I'm going to look at a, a Pi Pad here by using uh, RF Sim 99, which is downloadable from the internet for Windows computers. Here we have a 10 dB uh, attenuator. These are the values that it's calculated, but uh, the subject at hand is 20 dB, so we'll make this 20. And hit calculate here, and it changes. So we need about 250 ohms, 60, and 60. So parallel 120s would give us 60 in, the, in both of these cases. Uh, but let's look at the uh, so-called perfect uh, uh, attenuator pad here. And we'll simulate that. And here we are. So this is plus 10 at the top. So this is a zero, a 0, minus 10, minus 20. And as you see, we're on this line all the way across to 10 gigahertz from 1 kilohertz. And um, 313 dB return loss, which is pretty good. <laughs> and uh, minus 20 dB is the actual loss. So obviously this... Uh, attenuator that's uh, using perfect values works pretty well. And of course uh, we don't have perfect resistors and so this circuit more represents what's there. Vishe uh, provided this in one of their app notes you can see at the bottom there. And uh, that's because your resistance is made by chopping up uh, uh, resistive uh, inks either in a spiral form at the top which could be 22 nanohenries in a, a large value resistor pulse trim or the meander uh, trim and so the inductance in the particular uh, one that I would recommend for this is MCT0603 um, at 50 ohms we're talking about 0.875 nanohenries and maybe a half of 470 uh, would be 7.7 .7 nanohenries so that's what we're going to use Okay, I've entered a uh, new schematic here, which is a more realistic evaluation of this uh, particular attenuator. This would be the capacitance between the electrodes of the resistor. This would be the inductance of the resistor. This would be... Um, half of this value would be the capacitance to ground of that and the capacitance of ground of that particular uh, landing and so forth. Then the other half would be associated with this circuit, which is merely this whole thing uh, put on end. Of course, we don't have a capacitor down here since it's grounded. Same thing over here. So we, we have this circuit uh, for each resistor is uh, duplicated, and the values that are likely are uh, put in based on uh, information from uh, Vichier. And I have no idea why that's coming up. This is uh, the, the realistic circuit. Let's uh, see what happens if we simulate that circuit. Go to Analyze here, Simulate, and there you go. So we're still at the 20 dB point all the way across here because none of these parasitic uh, uh, capacitances or inductances seem to impact that. Uh, and I've set the thing for 10 megahertz to one and a half gigs. Now if I went to 10 gigs I'm sure we'd see stuff start to happen. But we won't do that at the moment. But you do see that the Viswar is climbing up from, uh, well let's see what it is at the bottom of this whole thing, which is down here at uh, 10 megahertz. Looks like we got 72 dB return loss, which is probably uh, bogus, but uh, let's just say that it is that. And we're at 20 dB. We'll go to 100 megahertz here. Uh, this is the frequency we're testing at. By sliding the bar we go to say 100 megahertz or so. Still minus 20, minus 52, so we're still off the bottom of the screen here. By the way, this is 0, 10, and 20. I've uh, changed the scale here. Um, there's a place to do that on this program. Graphic limit setup. You can set the frequency sweep. In this case, I set it up for linear. This, uh, this one is still in the uh, logarithmic here. Uh, trace limits for trace one and trace two are also available. Anyway, we'll go up to 500 megs. Close enough. 
Right here now we have uh, 20 dB still, but 38 dB return loss. And if we go up to 1,000 megs, ah, we're uh, 0.01 down from 20 dB, and only 32 uh, dB return loss. Still pretty darn good. And at uh, one and a half, of course, we're at 29.22, and uh, we're still only a 0.01 off. So. It gives you an idea what the capacitance is and um, uh, inductances of the packaging of chip resistors does. This is based on a Vichier um, MCT603 chip resistor. And I took this uh, data from uh, a uh, document that they have online about their resistors. So it should be fairly accurate, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so that gives you an idea of what the issues are. And of course, uh, obviously, if you have any kind of inductance, like uh, you have um, the, well, let's look, look what it would, would happen if I go from 33 here to, say, uh, 3.3, I should say, to 10 nanohenries here. Not an uncommon. Let's go to 22. That's about one inch of, of um, 22 nanohenries. That's about a, an inch of uh, length of a conductor. So say you have uh, an inch from here to there for whatever reason. That's around 22 nanohenries. And let's uh, now analyze that. Simulate. And uh, as you see, now we start seeing some uh, some issues. Uh, this has gone down to uh, 22 dB, and the return loss is 21.8. So uh, you are start starting to see some issues here, and there's some place up here where this resonates, and uh, there you'd have a significant loss. Just thought I'd throw this up as an example.